You know, uh, Dallas Page was good buddies with Bischoff, yeah. I think. And, I, and they, I really, Eric will have to tell you, because I don't know where the concept really started or who came up with it or the whole kind of birth of where that came out of. But I know that they thought that physically I was, you know, similar to Steve in size-wise. I mean, we're, you know, about the same size. I was probably heavier than him, but basically we were about the same kind of general size. So they had to find, I think, someone that they thought could, you know, look the part and, you know, be able to kind of pull off the switch. Because they actually took me in and did prosthetics. I wore contacts. I mean, it was very elaborate. The, you know, they went and did a, a mask, like a plaster mask of, of Steve's face, and they did a plaster mask of my face, and they made, uh, they had a, a guy from FX, his name escapes me right now, but he was a really good um, FX guy that they were using that did the whole um, little prosthetic pieces that went on my eyebrows and forehead and chin, you know, so they made us actually look very, similar in the face later we dropped that because you couldn't tell right with the face paint on we were i didn't even use it but in the beginning i did so i'd sit in makeup for an hour or so and had to put in contacts and the whole thing because i remember when i got out of the limo that was me when when that happened and i attacked lex i could you know the i couldn't even see really that good because <laughs> you know the contacts i don't wear contacts and they're like moving around in my eyes and um you know it's kind of snowy out and but it was but it was fun. But yeah, I mean and, and they told me and Eric said, Look, if this gets out, you know, I'm gonna squash it. I'm gonna kill the deal. So I didn't say a word and I, you know, everybody else that was involved, I guess, didn't really say anything. So it was pretty, you know, kayfabe at the time. Even the boys, you know, weren't sure if that was really Sting, right? And I think that was kind of one of the big coups of of the wrestling at that point was, you know, even you know, it, it was a work button, even the guys didn't know that that wasn't Sting. So it really, you know, I think went off very well. And, you know, even to this day, I mean, because I wrestled this character in Japan, as I mentioned to you in an email, for years. And and that character, had they decided to kind of keep it, they could have done, you know, me against Sting and then have us team up. Imagine two Stings, right? You know, teaming up together against, you know, something. They could have done so much with that. But... You know, it was also, at the, you know, I don't know, like I said, I have no idea who created it or how it came about or if there was, you know, any hard feelings on his part about having kind of a, an alter ego, so to speak. So I don't know the answer to those things.